The cryptocurrency industry has been eagerly anticipating the decision of the Securities and Exchange Commission regarding the approval of the spot Bitcoin ETF. While analysts and prominent figures predicted the highest possibility of approval, some still think there are uncertainties surrounding the matter. In this article, uh, we will delve into the latest developments and insights from industry experts to provide a comprehensive uh, overview of the current situation. Uh, race of spot Bitcoin ETFs. Uh, since the start, the SEC has received several applications for Bitcoin ETFs over the past year, but all have been rejected due to concerns over market manipulation and volatility. The SEC also sees Bitcoin ETFs as a novel asset that could be cornered. However, in recent months, there have been renewed hopes for approval as several prominent players in the industry, such as Fidelity and Vanak, have filed applications for the Bitcoin ETF. Um, these proposals differ from previous ones in that they focus on physically backed uh, Bitcoin ETFs, which would allow investors to buy and sell shares uh, that directly track the price of the Bitcoin. Uh, uh, many prominent analysts predicted and anticipated uh, recent matters. But recently, uh, Bloomberg ETF analyst Eric Bakchunas uh, said that while it's unlikely there's still a 10% chance uh, that the SEC gets could hand down the, uh, the rug pull of a decade, uh, but there, there's, little, uh, there's very little chance that approval will get rejected this month, which is most likely due to the Securities and Exchange Commission wanting more time rather than a flat-out rejection. Um, he explained this while speaking to Cointelegraph. Uh, and I've been asked a few times how long after launch until options are available for Bitcoin ETFs uh, for Bido. It was basically immediate that we said it had whole make it six to itself. But would probably would happen quickly, at least for ones uh, within a single system, uh, organic volume. Baltunas claims that this worry is the main reason he and colleague ETF analyst James Seifart have an increased the odds past the 90% possibility of acceptance by January 10th. And Eric explained that the amount of time and examination put in by the SEC and Bitcoin ETF issues means it's unlikely that a Bitcoin ETF would be rejected outright at the last moment. Um, and he later added that if the SEC issues a complete denial, fund issuers might follow in the footsteps of crypto asset manager Grayscale and launch a separate lawsuit against the regulators. Uh, and, and people have spent too much money and tried too hard to give up now. So, yeah, it would not be over. I don't even think there'd be a cooling off period this time. I think there'd be hell. Additional commentary on the SEC's request for feedback regarding Bitcoin-related filings has been submitted by two parties, both urging the rejection of a proposed spot Bitcoin ETF. On January 2, not only uh, one letter has raised arguments that Bitcoin's decentralized nature could make it appealing to authorization regimes seeking to evade sanctions and exert greater control over their citizens due to its use in illicit activities and potential as a tool for crimes.